So good morning guys, it's 6.33 in the morning and I'm tired and I really need a lion but I've been wanting to do a vlog for a while and I think this is the perfect time there's a lot going on, on in my mind right now and basically buying a house and we're buying a lot of stuff to go in it as well so this is kind of the run up to everything that we're doing so I thought it would be quite a good idea to vlog it so I'm going to head off back to Manchester now and wash my car get it hoovered out because it's, it's horrible right now at the moment it's really nasty um, and then we're going to knit back up here so when I say we I mean my girlfriend Leah and me so we're engaged been together for quite a while now We've been wanting to get a house for a while, so we found one on Facebook in Barnoldswick, and which is North Yorkshire area, if you don't know where it is. And it's proper nice, three stories, it's got three bedrooms, and it's got, it's got everything that we could possibly want. Hi, you alright? Oh, that's great. Uh, no, it's alright, thanks, just as it is. No, it's alright, thank you. Thank you. Cheers, thanks a lot, bye-bye. Okay, so just ordered a double bacon egg McMuffin and just got a text from my mum saying she's doing breakfast. Ooh, it's a bit foggy. So basically a little bit about me. I'm Oliver, I'm 26, I work as a mechanic and I live in Manchester. But most of the time I live in Skipson as well because my girlfriend lives in Skipson. I'm actually originally from Manchester, so most of the time I spend my time up here. So my car as well, it's a Renault Megane RS 265. I'll do a bit more of an in-depth video when I actually have the chance and when it's clean and it's not all horrible and messed up. Um, but next weekend it's going for a service. So what I'm going to do is... It's at I'll show you the clock now, it's at... So it's 74,651 miles. So it's due for a cam belt service of 75,000 miles. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it up to Durham um, at Clio Turbo Unit, which is run by Andy. And it's going to have the full service, which is cam belt, rollers, or auxiliary belts. It's um, spark plugs, air filter, oil filter, oil. It's generally everything really, brake fluid, coolant, it's, it's having the whole lot done. So it's major service, so it needs to be be right and it needs to be done by a specialist. I, I don't take it to Renault because Renault quoted me 890 quid just for the cam belt and I'm getting the whole lot done by Andy uh, with front discs as well and pads for just shy of eight, about 850 quid. So it's definitely worth taking it to a specialist and definitely worth getting it done properly. Yeah, so I wanted to get it done as soon as possible really, so I booked it in for this weekend. So I'll do a bit of a vlog on that as well. So from here to Durham it takes about, about an hour maybe. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it up there, I'm going to drop it off with him. And then he's going to run me into Durham Town Centre, I'll do a bit of shopping and stuff. Basically we just bought a house. So I'll be trying to have a, you know, I'll have a look around and see if I can find anything for the house whilst I'm in there. And then at the end of the day, he'll give me a ring and then probably come either pick me up or I'll try and make my own way back there. And then we'll, I'll just get in the car and come back home. Unfortunately, I can't vlog whilst we're in there because he doesn't like anyone hanging around because of insurance and things like that. But that's just one of those things. There'll be more work that I'll be doing on the car myself. So basically... I'll just vlog that, I'll do it on, you know, by myself, I'll do a bit of a video and show you what I've been doing. There are some things that I've done to the car, which includes making my own leather gaiters because the original one's split. So that's the gaiter there. And so I made that one out of um, just leather that I had hanging around. Yeah, so this leather, basically, I yeah, just got the originals, took them apart, broke all the stitching on them, flattened it out. And then I used that as a template for that. And I've also done this one as well, which is the handbrake one. Um, 
What else have I done? I'm going to, if you look, I don't know if you can see, but where the seat belt is, down the side, it's all scratched where I've missed sometimes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these side bits in Alcantara. So basically that's what I've done. I've also installed a K-Tech panel air filter. I'm a bit undecided with it. I'm not sure whether I like it or not over the standard air filter. It just seems really restrictive, which doesn't really seem right to me it doesn't really it doesn't want to get up and go like it used to with the standard air filtering so i might even just take that out sell it probably and i've been looking at k&n panel filters and i've been looking at also induction ram air induction air filter which, but i don't like the idea of removing the stock air box it just looks messy in, that's just my opinion. I'm sure people like that kind of look, but I just think it looks a bit messy. It looks a bit scrabby. It, 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 it's just not my kind of thing. I prefer to keep it looking standard and OEM and then just put a panel filter in there. So I'm going to have a look at the K&M ones and I think they'll pro that'll probably do me pretty well. So I didn't actually get the car washed at all. I got it hoovered inside. I, I cleaned the seats. I did the, clean the mats as well. And I was also sorting out the boots as well because that was a bit messy. So didn't really get much done. But also what I've done is I've got a dash cam up there which I hardwired into the fuse box. That was a bit of a job because it was trying to find a feed from the actual um, fuse box. But I managed to find one in the end. I actually connected it to the cigarette lighter fuse. So it's all running off the same. So I had a trouble with trying to turn it off and it wasn't shutting off properly um the camera was still running after the car had actually shut down so the best way to do it if you are thinking of installing a hardwire kit into your car is basically definitely running it through the cigarette lighter at the front or the even the rear ones that will do the same job so the car is a um running again rs265 it's in oyster gray it has 19 inch steve wheels to from the trophy with the red stripe going around it has the cup chassis it has the recaro seats as you can see yellow seat belts it has the sat nav as well which i think is better than the rs monitor but some people don't agree it has a dual climate control it's it's a brilliant piece of kit i love it it pops and bangs like nothing else that i've ever heard it's just a great car. So I'll be doing a proper vlog on it at the weekend. So keep tuned for that and you know, I'll see you soon.